All right, gonna play Tex, a summer story. It's, from what I remember, it, this genre was like psychological or something. Oh no, I'd better not miss the train. I spent forever trying to convince Mom to let me travel alone. If I get stranded, she'll never let me out of her sight again. I shouldn't have overslept. <sighs> I can't believe I made it. <laughs> Looks like I can handle myself after all. Hmm? A new message. Hey, honey, don't forget to give the fruit to your uncle as soon as you arrive. It'll spoil if you don't eat it tonight. Love, Mom. Ugh, seriously, Mom? I'll be fine. I'll be meeting Uncle at the shrine, so it's not like I'm going to be alone anyway. No, oh, well, I guess that's just how Mom is. This train is actually pretty nice. I've never been on one of these before. I'm only used to taking the ones to school, but these big ones that go across Japan are much nicer. And emptier. I guess it's not really the season for visiting shrines right now. <laughs> I'm sure that makes Uncle's job as caretaker a lot easier. At least I get a whole train car to myself for three hours. Hmm, my neck feels funny. These chairs aren't very comfortable after so much sitting. Another message. Don't forget to text me when you arrive, okay? Love, Mom. Oh, Mom, please just let me go. Whoops, this is my stop. Hmm. It feels good to stretch after sitting down in that train for so long. The fresh air is nice too, it smells like the ocean. I'm getting on the ferry right now, I'll be at the island soon. And I should make her happy. I'm pretty sure the ferry ride isn't going to be too long. I should text uncle and let him know I'm going to be at the shrine soon. I'll be on the island in a few minutes, can't wait to see you. I hope he gets it. Last I remember, he wasn't very good with technology. Oh, that was quick. I guess I didn't have to worry after all. Mmm. Who's this? What? It's Maya, your niece. I'm supposed to visit you at the Asha Shrine this week. What's going on? I don't have a niece. My name is Takeshi, and I haven't even finished high school yet. Oh no. I got the wrong number. This is so embarrassing. I should probably apologize. I'm so sorry, I must have entered the wrong number. I hope he doesn't think I'm a total idiot. No, it's not your fault. Is your uncle's name Hisashi? And how does he know about uncle? That's him. How'd you know? I worked for him at the Asha Shrine last year and he gave me his phone. Said it was a big nuisance than a... than a help. <laughs> that sounds like uncle. He hardly uses his phone anyway. He probably forgot that we ever... He probably forgot that we even had his number. Makes sense. My mom had to send an actual physical letter to him to let him know I was coming. At least now we know why he didn't answer his phone. Well, that's weird. I didn't get any calls. He didn't? Hmm. I guess mom tried calling a different phone then. Maybe a landline? Oh, I'm at the island already. That was faster than I expected. The shrine shouldn't be too hard to find. It's the only thing on this island after all. Yep, not hard to find at all. Can't believe Uncle lives here alone. It seems like an awfully big place for such a one- For such- For just one person. For such one person. I'm at the shrine with Uncle now. He says hi. I gave him the fruit. I'm glad you made it safely. How's your uncle doing? Honestly, he's a lot thinner than I remember, and he looks so old. Maya, that's your uncle. You should be more respectful. Mmm. I know that. I'm just telling you what I see. Uncle really does look a lot older than before. Right, Mom. Sorry. I'm just tired. I think I'm gonna go to bed now. And hopefully that will pacify her. <laughs> All the yawning's making me want to yawn. Why am I so worn out anyway? All I did was sit around most of the day. Hmm. I don't see a place to charge my phone. Mm. I'll leave it on. Mm, oh well. This was supposed to be a break anyway. When it dies, it dies. Oh! I should have saved at that option. Okay, let's... There we go. Just in case. We're gonna have to go back.
Okay, I'm going to run through that already. Hmm. That was a good sleep. I feel a lot better now. Hmm? Someone texted me last night. Hey, Maya, you didn't respond to my text last night. Is everything okay? Sorry if I'm being pushy or something. I hope I didn't scare you off. Uh, oh no, Takeshi, I totally forgot about him. More saving. Apologize to him, tell him everything's fine, ignore him. Uh, apologize. I better apologize. He was nice enough to chat with me after all. I'm so sorry. The ferry landed, so I met with Uncle, and we had dinner. Then I went to bed. Sorry, I was so tired last night. Mm, no response. I guess I should get going. If he wants to write back, he will. I hope Takeshi doesn't think I'm rude. I wonder why Uncle never mentioned him before, though. Oh, new mail. I hope it's him. I'm glad you're okay. What are your plans for today? <sighs> I'm glad he's not mad at me. It's gotta be kind of weird to be mad about that. Heading back into town, Uncle wants me to grab some groceries. I'm guessing that used to be your job? Yep. Along with helping keep the shrine and the grounds clean, it takes a lot of work during... Of course, I'm gonna struggle with this word. Tourist? Tourist, Taurus, Taurus, I think it's Taurus, yeah, Taurus. Season. I assume things are quiet right now, though. How's your uncle doing, anyway? Not so well. His health has been going downhill this past year, and the doctors can't figure out what's wrong with him. It looks like he hasn't slept in ages. Well, that's too bad. He'd... He looked just fine last year. Everyone was always surprised to find out how old he really was. Really? He definitely looks his age now, and not in a good way. I kind of got in trouble with my mom for saying that, though. <laughs> I can't believe you'd say something so bold. Your mother's probably just upset that you're not showing your uncle proper respect. I know, I try to be good, but sometimes I just say whatever pops into my head first. I understand. I'm the same way. My mother calls it the impulse of, the impulse of youth. Anyway, I won't keep you from your shopping. If you get the chance, you should stop by Ice Cafe. My mom works there. Ice Cafe? Sounds interesting. Thanks for the tip. Man, it must be difficult for Uncle to always have to cross over on the ferry anytime he wants to buy something from town. I wonder why he chooses to live out at the shrine anyway. He's only the tear ta bleh, caretaker, so he should live here in town if he wanted to. I'm glad it can help him out a little bit at least. Takeshi mentioned a place called Eyes Cafe. It's getting kind of late though. Maybe I should look for it some other day. So much saving. Uh, let's go look for it. It's small enough town, so it shouldn't be hard to find. My s Facebook stuff keeps on beeping. Why can't I find the place? It's not even that late, but it got dark so quickly, this place kind of feels creepy when it's dark out. Hey, Takeshi, I'm a little lost. I'm, it's getting dark, and I'm kind of freaking out. I think I'm at a park of some sort. Any idea how I can get back to the ferry? I hope he's still awake. Oh man. I shouldn't have went looking out for the goddamn cafe. Now that I think about it, I don't even know if he even lives in this area. He only said he was here last year. I hope Uncle isn't too worried about me. I should be back at the island by now. Oh my god, please don't tell me I'm gonna die. <laughs> this is so weird. Why is this place so empty at night? Ugh, I think I'm starting to freak myself out. Calm down. Nothing's going to happen. Takeshi, please answer. Please. Why isn't he writing back? Oh, thank goodness. Your text message, I'm lost, sent to Takeshi, could not be delivered. Could not be delivered of all the times I hear something. Oh! What's that sound? It's kind of metallic. I think someone's following me, and I'm really starting to freak out. I'm completely lost. Please answer. Oh, no. <laughs> I think I chose a bad ending. Of course, that always happens whenever I do visual novels. I tend to get, like, the worst ones. He's still not answering. What's wrong with this thing? I don't know what that metallic sound is, but I definitely hear footsteps now. <gasps> Run! <laughs> what are you doing? Someone's following me. I've got to get out of here. I can't believe you'd be reckless enough to wander around on your own, Maya. It's a good thing your uncle came looking for you, or you might have been out all night and you even had the nerve to run away from him. Well, I was kind of freaked out, so I ran, okay? Besides, he didn't come to find me. He went to buy groceries because he forgot 
that he already sent me. Mom, he's really out of it. I know, honey. I'm worried about him, too, but he's stubborn and refuses to move away from the island. He insists that nothing is wrong. We'll have to do the best we can with what we have. The best we can, huh? I don't feel as if there's anything I can do at all. I'm sure Mom's worried enough already. I understand. That's my girl, and don't go out alone anymore, okay? Love, Mom. Ha! <laughs> Like, you have to tell me that. I've had enough paranoia for one trip, thank you. In fact, I don't think I really want to go out at all today. I'm sure Uncle wouldn't mind if I just hung around all day. Another text? Mom, it's not that big of a deal. Maya, are you okay? I just got your text. What's wrong? Are you hurt? Pfft. guess she got my text after all, figures. Of course. Anything that makes me look like an idiot would go through at an inopportune time. I'm fine. I just got lost in town last night and I overreacted. I wound up running away from my uncle because I thought he was a stalker. I feel like such a moron admitting this. <laughs> Your uncle has a stalker? That's a new one. I'm glad you're okay, though. Sorry you had to go through all of that. Well, he had this ring of keys with him and it was making him. It was making this weird sound. I really thought I was being stalked by someone with a big knife or something. Yeah, because of a bunch of keys totally sounds like a giant knife. Does a knife even make that sound? Don't make fun of me. I was really scared, you know. You're right. I'm sorry. I was just teasing you. I wish I could have been there for you. Oh. Could have been there. Does that mean he lives in town? Hey, I was wondering. Do you live in town by the dock? Not anymore, sadly. I miss it. But hey, did you get a chance to explore the island yet? Not yet. Any suggestions? Hmm. Good question. Well, you can always look around the shrine. There's always a pond at the end of the island. And the stone stairs leading up to the top of the hill. The view there is beautiful. Uncle said I should stay away from the pond. He says it's dangerous. Oh, right. I suppose he would say that. It's pretty slippery around there. A lot of people have fallen in. Have you ever fallen in? That's a secret. <laughs> okay, I won't ask. I'll text you later, okay? Have fun. I feel like my voice is shaking. Squeaky chair. Alright, time to have a look around. Where should I go? I don't know if it matters with these options right now, but I'll make saves anyways. Probably gonna forget everything, so... And I'll just have to go through it again. Explore the shrine. I think I have a look around the shrine first. It's nice in here. Uncle really keeps everything clean and in order. Peaceful, too. No wonder he enjoys living here. Oh, this must be the entrance where the guests are in. There's a display with information about the shrine. There's a picture of Uncle here with someone I don't recognize. Is that Takeshi? Hey, I found a picture of some guy with Uncle at the entrance of the shrine. Is that you? Uh, I was kind of hoping you wouldn't find that. My expression in that picture is so awkward. Awkward? He looks fine to me. I don't think you look awkward. I wouldn't have guessed you were blonde, though. Mm -hmm. That's how it goes. My mom was pretty shocked when I dyed it. I think she still doesn't fully approve. Well, I suppose... Well, I suppose... How did I get suppose out of approve? I don't know. Well, I approve of your hair. Can't say the same for your shirt, though. Those black and white stripes make you look like a zebra. <laughs> Ow, that's harsh. That's my favorite shirt, you know. I'm wearing it right now, actually. Well, I'm not really a good judge of fashion, anyway. Keeping up with what's in style is too expensive and kind of silly. I'm sure you look cute in whatever you wear, anyway. You flirt. Can you blame me? I like you. Uh... Did he really say that? He's forward. I think my face is turning red. I hope Uncle doesn't see me. I wouldn't... I would not be embarrassed. I would have been weirded out really weirded out. How long have you been talking to this guy? Like, barely a day? Eh, I think that's him. Wait, did I? Oh, okay. Oh, wow, did I really just run away from my own uncle? That's embarrassing. I hope he doesn't think anything weird is up. Sorry for disappearing on you like that. I had to hide from my uncle. 